With the Microsoft Dynamics 365 extension app, you can seamlessly integrate Dynamics data into your DocuSign Maestro workflows to customize and automate end-to-end -end agreement processes. The Dynamics Extension app allows you to import Dynamics data to a Maestro workflow and write back workflow data to Dynamics. In this video, we'll create a new workflow to automatically update a Dynamics contact record phone number. A customer can initiate the workflow by clicking a link on your customer portal and completing a web form. The email address they provide will be used to locate the existing contact record in Dynamics. Then, the customer will fill in another web form to review their existing details and provide their new phone number. They'll sign an envelope to authorize the change and will be redirected to a confirmation screen after signing. Their number will be automatically updated on the Dynamics contact record. Let's take a look at how to configure this workflow. First, Navigate to the DocuSign App Center to install the app. Then, log in using your DocuSign account credentials. Locate the Dynamics Extension app and click Install App. Click Continue to install and authorize the application. Then, click Connect Account and follow the prompts to connect DocuSign with your Microsoft Dynamics 365 account. To use the Extension app, click the Agreements tab and then Maestro Workflows. You can edit an existing workflow or create a new one. You can even use a workflow template with predefined steps to get started quickly. In this case, we will create a new Maestro workflow. Choose how the workflow will start. We select from a link and we'll add the link to our customer portal. Then add and configure the workflow steps. Add collect data with web forms as the first step. You can rename the workflow step to help you identify the different steps in the workflow. Select the web form that will be used to collect the recipient name and email and add a workflow participant called customer. Then add a read from Microsoft Dynamics 365 step to read the contact information from a Dynamics record. Choose the Dynamics object you will read from and select the field you want to read and save as workflow variables. Then, create a rule to specify which record you are reading from. You can use the email variable from the web form to match with the correct Dynamics contact record. Add another Collect Data with Web Form step to prompt the customer to review their current account details and enter their new phone number. Choose a web form and select a participant. You can map the data fields from the web form using the data from the first web form and the read data from Dynamics steps. Add an update participant information step and use workflow variables from the first web form to specify the customer's name and email address. Then add a get signatures step to prompt the customer to authorize the change with a signature. Select a DocuSign template, choose the envelope recipient, and use workflow variables to pre-fill the DocuSign fields for the recipient. You can also add a branching rule and two confirmation screen steps so that if the recipient declines to sign, they are redirected to a screen indicating their phone number was not updated and the workflow stops. If they complete signing, they are redirected to a confirmation screen and the workflow continues. Finally, add a write back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 step to update the phone number on the contact record. Select the Dynamics object you want to write to and select the correct Write Settings. Then select the field you are writing to and add a rule to choose which record you are writing to. You can also add and configure more steps if needed. For example, you can add a step to verify the customer's identity for additional security or use the SharePoint extension app to save the signed document in SharePoint. Then click Review and Publish and update the workflow name. Click Authorize My Account and then Publish. The workflow is now ready to be used.